In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a smoke of any color you want, instead of this default gray color smoke. We will use Blender EV for this, and we will also learn how to create a thick, black smoke like what you get when a petroleum fuel is burnt. We have set up a simple scene. There is a floor here. A flow object is added for the smoke, which we have intentionally hidden in the viewport. And then we have this smoke domain through which the smoke characteristics are primarily controlled. The smoke looks good here, but if you render the scene, you will see that the smoke is very faint. Or, it may be almost invisible because it has the same color as that of the surrounding. So, there are two things that affect the outlook of our smoke. First is the light that we have in our scene. It plays an important role here. We can see in the light tab that we have a point source of light, with a strength of 1000 watt. If we change this power value to say, 3, we get a very thick, black smoke. But this will not be very useful because even the other objects in the scene will get dark due to the lack of enough light. Let us change it back to the original value of 1000. Now, if you change the location of this lamp, you can see how the smoke color or the contrast is changing. So, we must set up an appropriate lighting first, suitable for the scene. Let us change the light to a sun type, and use a power of 3 to 4. That gives us a nice smoke, but with gray color. It gets the color from the material of this smoke domain. So, we have to make changes to its material, in order to change the smoke color. Select the domain object and go to the materials tab. There may be a material already added by Blender, if you are using the quick smoke option. But if you have manually added this smoke domain, you may not have a material yet. Let us just remove this material first. Once we removed it, you can see that the smoke also disappeared, nothing is visible now. Let us now add a new material for the domain. But even then, no smoke is visible here. Let us open the shader editor to understand what is happening. By default a principled BSDF gets added when you create a new material. You need to delete this default shader. Then, go to the add menu, and add a principled volume BSDF. For smoke domain, we need to use this volume shader. Connect volume to volume carefully, do not connect to the surface input. Now let us go back to our viewport. And we can see that the smoke is back. Now here in this material, the surface is none because we have left it unattached. Then, expand the volume section. You can see a density field here. If we increase this value to 5, the smoke becomes thicker. You can use even a higher value, like 20. The smoke will be even more dense and prominent. Next is this color field, which actually controls the color of our smoke. Let us change it to something in the range of green, then the smoke will also get a green color. Now go back to the first frame and run the simulation. We can see the green colored smoke, and it uses the same simulation data that was already created. And, if we change the color to complete black, we will get a thick, black smoke without compromising with the other objects in the scene. You can see the smoke in action. This is the easiest way to customize the color of any smoke. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.